You know, for women out there, you might have some questions about how the vaccine could possibly affect fertility. Well, I talked to a Boston University epidemiologist about the research that she's doing to understand how and if the vaccine does affect women's reproductive health. Professor Lauren Wise lectures at BU School of Public Health. She's also an epidemiologist. Uh, you know, Professor, when women of reproductive age became eligible for the vaccine, these stories began popping up on social media about longer and more intense periods. And now the National Institutes of Health has funded a study for youth to research this. So what's your best guess as to why this may be happening? Well, I think menstruation is a really important health outcome. I think clinical trials, unfortunately, clinical trials of the vaccine did not evaluate menstrual changes as an outcome. And so it's really important for us to conduct observational studies, such as the Presto study at Boston University, to explore changes in the menstrual cycle that occur as a result of the vaccine. And also, whether these changes might be short-term or long-term and whether they have any impact on other outcomes like fertility. You know, I'm so glad you touched upon upon that, uh, the fertility issue, because I think the first question that a lot of women are gonna have is, is this going to impact my fertility? Am I going to be able to get pregnant when I want to? Am I going to be able to prevent pregnancy when I want to? What What's the working theory on that? And, and are women of reproductive age, should they be getting the vaccine when we don't know a firm answer yet? Um, so yes, I think epidemiologists and uh, vaccine experts and, and the CDC would recommend that everyone get vaccinated but we don't have enough evidence currently to be able to answer the questions about whether vaccination affects fertility. And so that's why it's important for us to do this research. And I'm really happy that the NIH has put money into studying menstrual changes and also um, other potential uh, outcomes. And, and certainly, you know, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in particular is, is sort of based on the older technology as opposed to the newer technology. And there is no uh, evidence that, and just correct me if I'm wrong here, there's no evidence that other vaccines that use that technology impact fertility. Correct. There is okay. no evidence to date that any of these vaccines affect fertility. What other questions do you want answered? Let me know in the comments. And make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel for more local stories. Thanks for watching. I'm Elizabeth Hopkins, Boston 25 News.